Okay, day 163, this is part three. And uh, it's too cold outside, uh, so I have to do this inside. Uh, here with Task Force, here with Deep Milwaukee. And we're just talking about this Frank Enzyme Bradley right now. And we're tr trying to see if that's the same person that was in the global intelligence files, the WikiLeaks in 2012. And if people don't remember those leaks, they came out and there were several embarrassing leaks about n numerous companies around the world. Now, uh, what I put forward to the group was that these were targets. These were Andrew McCabe type targets. If the, the way infiltration works is you put your person in, kind of like Amy Dacey at, at Sony, you put your person in right below them, and then you come out with some thing about Amy Dacey telling, you know, Obama jokes, you know, uh, that are off color and get her fired. And then your person goes up and then becomes a Sony director. That is Andrew McCabe's MO throughout his whole career. So that's why I say that's probably what he was doing with the global intelligence files. I know it's an FBI operation because it was this guy named Sabu who was the handler who was running around recruiting people to, to hack the global intelligence files at Stratfor. Now that's the deniability. They're not really hacking, but they say if they get caught, oh, it's that 20 year old guy that got you know, recruited by that 30 year old guy, not this team of hackers. So having said that, um, uh, task force did a lot of research on this on this Bradley guy and this enzyme c company that's mentioned prominently now it's it's not enzyme with a z it's enzyme turning the z around to an s enzyme it's enzyma i think it's actually enzyma yes yeah now give me some of the background on this guy he's he's a graduate at George Washington he has a master yeah master's degree George Washington in public administration um, well, his guess. business is in, he, he worked for CERN, worked for he CERN, had a DOD, he had DOD I mean, he gun license, gun license in Texas. He said he worked for a secret intelligence agency. Work, yeah, secret government company. And I'm going to guess that's going to be like a DynCorp or a right. Lidos or a Conceres or something like that. And he said that he was working on viruses, he admitted to that, but he will not go into the details of that. And, um, and his he, wife has a company called Global Logistics, so is she running stuff all around the right. world to CERN, like California, right. as well as bioweapons? It's kind of the, the whole rat line thing that we've been talking about through the whole series, potentially. Right. Yeah, yeah. and his, his wife was part of the Air Force National Guard, and she has a logistical background. She also has a degree from Harvard. She has a lot of, a lot of education behind her, a lot of different companies that she's involved in, a lot of logistics it's kind of similar stuff that we've seen many, many times. Throughout the whole series. series. So, um, you know, this, and the reason why I say Tewksbury, Massachusetts, it could be that it, that's a wink. If you have this new guard and old guard, you know, the whole War of the Roses in England was new guard and old guard, and Richard III, I always think of as Dick Cheney, you know, now is the winner of our discontent made set ready by the summer of York. Um, if the, that's the old guard, if Cheney... You know, Bush, uh, all those guys, Rumsfeld, and then on the left side, uh, Podesta and Manafort, et cetera, are the old guard. The new guard could be, you know, uh, Pompeo, uh, Mattis, uh, Dunford, uh, potentially Kelly, mm -hmm. potentially the DIA guys like Flynn and uh, Tony Schaefer and the, and the new guard. If you wanted to really embarrass the old guard and say, hey, we know your tricks. By the way, this guy was an expert, or not an expert, but he was carrying around a lot of BlackBerry Enterprise servers as well as Blackberries. Is he the replacement for Imran and Juan for secure, crypt, can, <laughs> secure encrypted communications? Again, anytime I see that, it's kind of like, well, why do you have a burner phone? Why do you have 18 burner phones in your back seat, you know, uh, sir? Uh, that kind of thing. It's, it's kind of another signature that says, hey, this could, person could be involved in an illegal activity. The best way for the old guard to catch, the, the new guard to embarrass the old guard is to catch them in a city um, about ready to do something. You know, the Boston Marathon's coming up on the 17th in, in Boston. Is this another repeat of the Boston Marathon? Remember Graham Fuller, the guy who did the Gladio plan, Gladio B. Now is this Gladio C again, the Clockwork Orange thing? You know, let's, let's make a lot of terrorist incidents to get funding and, and keep our power. Is that what's happening? And the fact it's in Tewksbury was one of the key battles of that 
War of the Roses where the new guard won and made our current queen. So, any last thoughts on... The only other thought I had was, um, it was curious that it, the, the, it says in the paper that he called the police saying that he thought someone was breaking into his room at the hotel and he had guns in his hotel, which makes absolutely no sense to me if you have a, you know, a storage full of AR-15s and weapons and gas masks and stuff like that, that you would call the police on yourself, especially if you're part of some secret government program. You unless you unless the do that. unless the new guard was trying to embarrass you right or the new guard made the call the new guard and, made the call right. and was embarrassing you that's right. what i'm saying yeah. right and they, they set it up for the police to go into the house right. and then what's coming on the paper is that he made the phone call and that seems kind of ridiculous to me but maybe he's, you know the new guard probably made the phone call right unless he had a remote camera where he could see people going in to his even room. then he would go back himself Right, I mean, you would right. call them local cops. Right. So it looks like maybe the, maybe Andy's coming in to cover for him or, or something. But it looks like it, we could have averted something happening. I, I think of Claude Destry every time I think of the Boston Marathon and thinking, Claude, you look an awful lot like that guy who was six feet away from the bomb. And, and is, is this another Colorado CIA school of mines operation? So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I think people are going to connect the dots on this one. And, and certainly there's a very active Q, would you say, Deep Milwaukee? There's a, an active Q discussion on, on this right now, or, or at least the... It's not that Q, it's the Anons. The Anons, the Anons, okay, the Anons. Okay, so there you have it.